Okay, class, so Miss Juarez has had her tea, and today we will be reading Mr. Putter and Tabby Smell the Roses by Cynthia Ryland and Arthur Howard. And as we're reading this next book in the Mr. Putter and Tabby series, we're going to be paying very close attention to how the feelings of the characters in our book change throughout the story and trying to change our voices to match the feelings of those characters. So, let's read together. Ready? Mr. Putter and Tabby Smell the Roses. Mr. Putter and Tabby Smell the Roses by Cynthia Ryland, illustrated by Arthur Howard. For Michael, Laura, Lily, Oliver, and Lula. A.H. Chapter 1 together. Chapter 2, Something Special. Chapter 3, Heavenly. Chapter 4, Not So Heavenly. Chapter 5, Surprise. Chapter 1, Together. Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, lived next door to Mrs. Teaberry and her good dog, Zeke. They all did many things together. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry took walks together and read books together and made tea together. Ooh. So readers, I'm noticing just on this page with the illustration that Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry and Tabby are both looking surprised about something that Zeke is doing. So I'm guessing that on the next page, there's going to be words that match their emotions, their feelings. So I'm going to try to pay special attention to match my voice to how the characters are feeling. Tabby and Zeke did everything Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry did, except sometimes Zeke did it the hard way. Did you see how I did that, readers? So on the previous page, I noticed how the characters were feeling by observing their faces in the illustration. And so on the next page, on the word except, I put more emphasis. So that way, my reading matched a little bit more closely to how the characters were feeling. Except sometimes Zeke did it the hard way. Mr. Potter and Mrs. Teaberry also celebrated together. They celebrated Halloween and Christmas and the first day of baseball season. They celebrated new tires, they celebrated good teeth, and of course, they celebrated birthdays. Chapter 2, Something Special. So, on the bottom of the illustration, I'm looking at Mr. Potter's face, and he seems very thoughtful, such as he's thinking about something, like he's wondering about something. So, I'm guessing that on this page, there's going to be dialogue, and I'm going to have to sound very thoughtful when I read some of these words I'm thinking. Okay? Chapter 2, Something Special. Hmm. Mrs. Teaberry's birthday is on Saturday. Mr. Putter told Tabby one morning. Did you notice how I did that, readers? So again, I observed Mr. Putter's expressions and I tried to make my reading match his feelings. When I read the words, Mrs. Teaberry's birthday is on Saturday, I tried to sound very thoughtful, very contemplative, so that that way my reading would match the character's feelings. Mrs. Teaberry's birthday is on Saturday, Mr. Putter told Tabby one morning. I want to do something special for her. All morning, Mr. Putter thought of special things he could do for Mrs. Teaberry. He thought of ice cream, he thought of cake, he thought of balloons, but they had always celebrated with those things. Mr. Putter wanted to do something extra special this year. And besides, he said to Tabby, don't forget what Zeke does when balloons are in the room. Oh, my goodness, readers, Zeke gets very excited when it is a birthday celebration. Mr. Putter made a cup of cocoa and poured Tabby some cream. Then he sat in his chair to think. So readers, I'm noticing in the picture again that Mr. Putter looks excited. Just because by looking at the picture, I'm noticing he sort of got up suddenly from his chair and seemed to tap on the table. Very suddenly to the point where Tabby is surprised by the sudden noise and movement. So this next part of the dialogue that I'm noticing on the page, I'm going to read to try and match 
the feelings that I'm noticing Mr. Putter having on this page. Ready? I'm gonna go back and get a running start though so that that way my reading can sound more fluid. Then he sat in his chair to think. I've got it, said Mr. Putter at last. It had taken three cups of cocoa, but he had it. He would take Mrs. Teaberry to the conservatory. The conservatory had the most beautiful trees and plants and flowers in town. And Mrs. Teaberry loved beautiful trees and plants and flowers. She was always telling Mr. Putter about her maples and her roses. Mrs. Teaberry will love the conservatory, Mr. Putter told Tabby. Mrs. Teaberry's birthday would be good. It would be special. It will be heavenly, said Mr. Putter. Chapter 3. Heavenly. On Saturday, Mr. Putter put on his best shirt and his best tie. He also put some pomade in his hair. It made him look very spiffy. Pomade makes the man, Mr. Putter told Tabby. Mr. Putter and Tabby knocked on Mrs. Teaberry's door. Happy birthday, said Mr. Putter. Mrs. Teaberry was wearing her dress with all the ruffles and her zebra earrings. You look very nice, said Mr. Putter. Zeke looked very nice, too. His jacket matched the earrings. Shall we go? asked Mr. Putter. I can't wait, said Mrs. Teaberry, and off they went. Soon they arrived at the conservatory. It was very large. It had beautiful windows and beautiful things growing inside. It was heavenly. Mr. Putter sniffed the air. It smelled all wet and flowery. It reminded him of going outside in the rain when he was a boy. It smelled so green. Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke walked among the trees and plants and flowers. They touched the leaves. They smelled the roses. They learned the facts. Venus flytrap, native to USA, eats bugs. Mr. Putter had told Zeke that if he was very, very good at the conservatory, he might get a surprise. Zeke lived for surprises, so he was very, very good. He was not chewing. He was not digging. He was being as good as good can be. And he stayed that way for exactly five minutes. I think even Tabby is surprised by how patient Zeke is behaving. Then he found the banana tree. I'm wondering what's going to happen next. This page makes it very suspenseful for me. Now, I don't know about you readers, but I'm thinking something exciting, something surprising might happen on the next page. So I'm getting ready to match the way I'm reading the story to what I think the characters might be feeling. But then again, that's just my prediction. That's my inference based on what I've read before. So I have to be prepared for my reading to also be something different from what I think might happen. Chapter 4. Not so heavenly. Zeke thought the banana tree was for him. Zeke loved bananas. He thought the banana tree was his surprise. So he jumped up and grabbed a bunch, which made the guard blow his whistle, which made Tabby jump into a lemon tree. I was right, readers. There was something surprising that happened. So it's a good thing that I made an inference about what might happen so that I was prepared to match the way I talked to how the characters were feeling. Which made lemons hit everybody on the head, which made the conservatory not so heavenly. The other characters in the story do not look happy. Chapter 5. Surprise. Mr. Putter and Tabby. Actually, you know what, readers? I'm going to go back and read that chapter title again and make my voice match the way that the author intended for us to read it. Ready? Because I'm noticing that exclamation mark and I did not read it with that. Ready? Chapter 5. Surprise! Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke and two bunches of bananas and nine lemons got into Mr. Putter's car. That was fun, said Mrs. Teaberry. You had fun? 
asked Mr. Potter. Of course, said Mrs. Teaberry. Didn't you? Mr. Potter looked at Mrs. Teaberry. She had a head full of leaves and a lap full of fruit. She was such a good sport. Mr. Potter wanted to keep giving her special things, so he drove her to their favorite ice cream parlor. They ate lots of strawberry cake and lots of strawberry ice cream, and Mr. Putter blew up 15 balloons. Mr. Putter looked at Zeke. Zeke looked at Mr. Putter. Then Zeke gave Mr. Putter a surprise. I wonder what that surprise might be. Zeke gave Mr. Putter a good Zeke. There were 15 balloons in the room, and Zeke was good. Mr. Putter was so happy that he sang the happy birthday song twice. It was one of the best celebrations ever. Everyone went home very happy. Mrs. Teaberry felt very special. And the next day, there was even... Lemonade. The end. So, readers, I want you to try and... Pay attention when you read your chapter books to how the characters in your books are feeling. And then when you read the words in your book, to try and match the way the characters are feeling with the way you read. It's very important to not just notice what is happening in the illustrations and make inferences based on what you're noticing, but also to pay attention to the words the characters are saying. Because some of our chapter books, like, the Mr. Putter series have an illustration on every page and some of our other chapter books like the Magic Treehouse books that we know and love don't have an illustration on every page. But that doesn't mean that we can't notice how characters are feeling from pictures and words and try and match our reading to how those characters are feeling. So don't forget today and every day to try and notice how the characters are feeling how those feelings might change throughout the story and then match our reading to make sense with how the characters are feeling throughout the story. Okay, thank you. Okay, can't wait to read to you again tomorrow.